Hello, so today's video we'd like to talk about another common condition, pregnancy complication that happens uh, during the first trimester. Now, today's condition is ectopic pregnancies. So ectopic pregnancy is on the rise and we'd like to bring some awareness and also its treatment method in this video. So an ectopic pregnancy is known as a pregnancy that is not in the uterus in simple terms, uh, which means this uh, pregnancy has implanted elsewhere. So usually when we look at an ultrasound, we can immediately uh, identify the position of the uh, pregnancy, the zygote that is implanted. Usually it's in the, the uterine cavity. It's very easy to, uh, easy to spot this. But if it is not spotted inside the uh, ultrasound, and that means this is definitely an ectopic pregnancy. Now, ectopic pregnancies can implant themselves in uh, several places, for example, inside the fallopian tube, in the ovaries, in the pelvic cavity, outside the uterus, and also the cervix. Now, it's not limited to where it can implant, but eventually this will lead to a uh, potential uh, miscarriage because uh, the pregnancy will not have its sufficient nutrients no room to grow and also may cause potential threatening, uh, life-threatening conditions to the mother. The most common form of ectopic pregnancy is a tubal pregnancy, which means uh, the zygote, when it is traveling towards the uterine cavity, it's uh, stuck in the fallopian tube, so one of the fallopian tubes. Now, why can it cause a life-threatening condition? It's because if this ectopic pregnancy is left undiagnosed, unchecked, uh, this pregnancy continues to grow and can rupture the fallopian tube. This will cause massive bleeding, uh, shock to the mother, and then potentially cause maternal death because of the massive internal bleeding that she might experience. So how do we diagnose a ectopic pregnancy? So first of all, we look at the ultrasound. If there is no gestational sac, it is a higher possibility of an ectopic pregnancy. Secondly, does she test positive for ECG? If she has positive HCG but low levels, which means the levels are dropping weak, this signifies that the pregnancy is not implanted properly or it's implanted in the wrong place. And then lastly, we also look for her progesterone levels. Usually, uh, ectopic pregnancy, progesterone levels are normal. So distinct uh, uh, diagnosis is that she will have dropping levels of HCG but healthy levels or normal levels of progesterone. Uh, this can be a high probability of an uh, ectopic pregnancy. So immediately, uh, if it is something that is potentially causing a maternal death, for example, tubal pregnancy that is about to rupture, uh, for this type of cases, we will either use uh, certain medication that is injected into the zygote we're using a laparoscopic surgery uh, to terminate the pregnancy and also uh, protect the mother's life. So in some cases, uh, the removal of the fallopian tube is also required because there are some scarring or some uh, damages that are uh, already done. In cases where we want to preserve the pregnancy, here at Anta Hospital, we do uh, provide this uh, treatment service, which is using a keyhole surgery using 3D laparoscopy to cut open a small opening on the fallopian tube, the exact location of the pregnancy, and then uh, re-implant it into the uterine cavity. But of course, this has to be done in a, a very special conditions and ectopic pregnancies are considered medical emergencies. Now, I hope that you've learned something from this video. Please share it to uh, your friends and family and also please visit our website. Please leave me a comment down below as well.